see the world is changing faster and unfortunately it is not changing for the good of the world there are new forces of right wing disturbance in germany and of course there is the war in ukraine and of course china is now going out to seek world leadership xi has traveled to saudi arabia and we don't know what sort of new forces will align for a better safer world india has taken over the g20 leadership in my humble opinion this is not a very big deal because already indonesia had held this position and what that leadership had achieved is not very clear so this to given the current indian realities should not become a spectacle to win the other coming elections winning elections by who or who has become the pursuit of the indian reality this is not the way the country a country any country can progress there are smaller countries which have shown greater leadership qualities a country like croatia is often in the news indian readers must look to this small european country what it has achieved i didn't have the time or inclination to narrate all these wider issues so i would confine myself to the core thesis of indian elite class those who had got good education and climbed the ladder of power bureaucracy settled down in delhi at government expense this is the indian elite class which had in a way taken the other elite classes like media politics and even economic corporate success to do many things that they are not supposed to do for example a minister's wife or a relation should be should not become a professional in the tv business we have seen currently the corporate takeover of the indian media business and this is not a very healthy step so let us not be pretending unconcerned about what we are all doing we all belong to the, the english speaking elite class think they can get away by getting the best plum jobs and government is there to give jobs and accommodation in the little bangalore zone for the retired bureaucrats they should all go back to their states their own own residences and there must be a clean break from the current practices that led to the political parties diminishing status india needs a basic political doctrine of democracy of course and then democracy means there must be an opposition party unfortunately even opposition parties as they are today are seeking to continue the dominant lifestyle that we have practiced in the last so many years of our independence and 20 years a party's leader or 15 years and beyond a leader continuing in the same job these are all not healthy practices as we have seen in the dominant countries of the world and i am restraining myself mentioning names because that's not the purpose of this discourse thank you